This is the complete collapse of society. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I have various issues to discuss with you today. Let's get into this in a rapid fire. No particular sequence here. I want to begin right here. Death of the human investor, just 10% of trading is regular stock picking. That's according to JP Morgan. This is something that I have said for quite some time. It's public information anyway. But individuals, people, do not make up the market. It's all computer algorithms. You think that there's a, there's a person behind that computer algorithm. That's not the way it is. Simultaneously, on top of that, you have an issue, and that is robo-advisors and all of the robotics and automation that have been displacing jobs. It's not something that is happening in the future. It is happening today. All of the major financial institutions are instituting robo-advisors. It's becoming the latest trend. This robot-powered restaurant is one step closer to putting fast food workers out of a job. So suddenly, when you have this $15 an hour minimum wage, you don't even need those people anymore. You're going to be able to institute these robots who are going to displace those $15 an hour jobs, I assure you. Puerto Rico upholds statehood demanding a contentious vote. And what I would say with this is that they have voted to become a state of the U.S., this is not binding at all. This is just what do the people want? And I believe they are looking for a solution at this time. I believe that they are looking to be rescued. They see that they're suffering and everything else, and they believe becoming a state is the solution to that. I don't know who's going to pay for it all, but it seems like the U.S. will have to foot the bill. Hedge fund delivers 19% return by betting only on the safest bonds. How's that possible? When you have negative yield out there, you have no yield essentially or negative around the world. Trillions and trillions in bonds are being sold at a negative rate right now. How do you do that? With leverage. Leverage is being used to support this economy at this time. You have this liquidity which is happening from the central banks. And then on top of that, you have leverage. It's maximum leverage right now at this time. And this particular hedge fund seems to be going in that route. And then we look to Canada. Canadians have been racking up debt, but fewer of them are defaulting on their loans. How is this possible? How are they in more and more and more debt? Over 160% debt to income ratio right now in Canada. It's even worse in Australia, and it is considerably bad in areas like the US. What are they doing? They take their increasing value of their home, and they have what is called the home equity loan. So they take the value out of their home, and they pay down their credit cards. They pay down all their other garbage debt, and they say, look, my house is going to increase in price. I don't need to worry. I can use this home as a bank account. This is a failed policy. This will crush a lot of people, and you best be sure that we are about to embark on a crisis so massive the world has never seen, and it's because of the amount of leverage. It's because of the amount of debt. Then we move on. Look at this. Some doctors are charging both government and patients privately in a legal double dipping practice. What about all of the other madness that had gone on recently with the um, GlaxoSmithKline? Everything that they're criminally involved in. And what happens? A little slap on the wrist. That's all. No worries. Sure, they get a billion dollar fine or what have you, but it doesn't matter. They're still operating. They're still using their doctors and people in the medical establishment to push their drugs. And then you have this type of business. You can't trust anyone these days. Open Pharma wants public to know ties between the MDs and the pharmaceutical industry. They're saying we're not anti-pharma. Not at all. But we just want to know who's being bribed by who. Of course, that's not going to happen. But wouldn't that be good if you would at least know that this doctor that you're going to see had some ties with GlaxoSmithKline, for example? 
Wouldn't that be good information to know? I surely agree, but of course, not going to happen. Taking a daily aspirin is far more dangerous than was thought, causing more than 3,000 deaths a year. People believe that taking pills is the solution to their problems. It doesn't matter what the problem is. There's always a pill for that. And you'll see that. I see that in my own family. I see that in the, you know, hearing it from other people. Always. Oh, I had to go to the doctor. Yeah, what, that, what happened? Well, you know, they gave me a pill for this. Oh, they gave me a pill for that. And I understand people, you know, they... They're in a crisis scenario. They need a solution, and that's just the way it is. It's always the quick fix. Doesn't matter if it's the economy, doesn't matter if it's health. I do see that as a trend, and it seems to be continuing. Prozac Nation is now the United States of Xanax. This article talks about that. You can see where it's going essentially, that more and more and more people are choosing to go the route of anti anxiety, anti depression medication. It's something that's increasing. Okay, a lot of people are taking these drugs. All I'm trying to note is the fact that this seems to be a growing trend. It's getting worse. I believe that when you look to the statistics, I've shown them here on the channel before, the water supply is filled with all of these drugs, different pharmaceutical drugs. It is a confirmed fact. And I'm not talking about You know, they go into Lake Ontario, the drinking water of the public, and they will, you know, take it from there and test it. No, no, no. The actual drinking water out of the tap, they tested it, they find pharmaceutical drugs in it. They're not filtering it out. I have reason to believe it's being done, you know, perhaps on purpose, making people a little less, uh, let's say, we'll, we'll flip it around, a little more subservient. But regardless, I see this as a big problem and it's getting worse. We're not monsters. Ontario Township defends shuttering girls' lemonade stand. You thought this was just in the U.S.? No, this is happening in Canada all the time too. You can't have a lemonade stand. You can't have a lem. Are you crazy? A lemonade stand? You're getting shut down and you're lucky that we didn't put you in jail. For your damn lemonade stand. Little kid, this is a lesson to you. The Ontario government owns you. Sure, you weren't even charging anybody for the lemonade, but it's a violation. And while the Ontario government is responsible for shutting down lemonade stands, they simultaneously do this. Look, Lake Ontario is the drinking water supply for a large population of people. So what do they do? They put raw and partially treated sewage and dumped it into Lake Ontario. That's what happened. They dump raw sewage into the lake on purpose. And you have to think, what the hell is going on? You know, they allowed, for those who don't know, they allowed nuclear radioactive waste to be thrown into the lake and said that this was okay because it was only a small amount and that it would dissipate over time. That's the drinking water for the public. Are you insane? But then if you look at it and and think, well, maybe those in control behind the scenes don't mind if we have a little bit of population control. I don't know what's happening. Look, all I know is that there's criminals running things. They're dumping radioactive waste into the lake. They're dumping raw sewage into the lake. And they do it in such a way and say, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Drink up. Filter your water, people. Get a shower filter. Get a water filter for your drinking water. Please, it is so important. Look at what they're doing. Search your town. Okay, it's not just Flint. It's not just different areas. Look, it's happening everywhere. So be smart about this. You need to really be on this, not just for the water situation. Look look at all these different things that I've covered today. We need to be educated and we need to be keeping a very close eye on all of these things. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up, 
Last but not least, if you found the video informative, I know you will find my books, The Money GPS, and my new release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. You can flip through the books at Amazon. They have a look inside feature that will allow you to flip through the pages of these books and see if you like them. Take care.